The central dogma of biology can be summarized by DNA codes for RNA, which codes for protein. mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA are all vital to this dogma and protein synthesis. Though functionally diverse, all three are composed of single-stranded RNA. Protein synthesis begins in the nucleus of the cell. Because DNA cannot fit through nuclear pores, it must be unwound and copied into strands of RNA, which exit the nucleus. These strands of RNA are called mRNA, or messenger RNA. Messenger RNA travels from the nucleus to a corresponding ribosome where it will be translated and a protein will begin forming. mRNA serves as a messenger for the protein code from the nucleus to the ribosome. As mRNA enters the ribosome, the complex physically moves along the mRNA strand. The ribosome, which is about 60% rRNA and 40% protein, identifies codons and binds a corresponding tRNA molecule. A codon is a sequence of three nucleotides that code for a single amino acid. Each codon along the mRNA strand is read by the ribosome and matched up to a corresponding tRNA molecule. tRNA is a long chain of RNA with three nucleotides attached to the bottom. These nucleotides are called the anticodon, which match up to the codon being processed by the rRNA complex. Each tRNA also has an amino acid attached to the top that is released to a ribosome when its anticodon is matched up to a codon. This amino acid binds to the ribosome and forms a chain which will eventually form a protein. Think of the cell's genome as being the secret recipe book for a restaurant. The chef wants to cook a certain dish and needs to read the right recipe and copy it down for use at the kitchen. The chef carries out the role of mRNA, which takes the code from the nucleus to the ribosome. The chef then needs to bring all the ingredients to a large cookie pot, which represents the rRNA complex known as the ribosome. The ingredients represent the amino acids carried by the tRNA molecule, the chef in this example. Eventually, the finalized dish represents the completed protein.